what stops more testosterone from from being better? Like I know there's more side effects, but you say people don't feel you know stronger, you know better, or anything like that. Um, well, is there some reason that the human body can't handle more testosterone, or that it wouldn't be effective to just add more and just deal with the side effects? Um, is there some kind of like natural limiter or something like that? There is. Yep. Yeah, that's actually a really good question. So our bodies, everyone on this planet, we produce testosterone and we produce estrogen. Those are two very big hormones and they are on a seesaw. So they're always trying to balance each other out. So as one of these levels goes up or down, the other one will try to match it. And that process is called or aromatizing where if our testosterone gets too high, so we have a limited number of receptors in our body that can accept testosterone. And as those get flooded in full, let's just say for uh, argument's sake that we're on 200 a week. And, and this is common at 200. And this is why usually getting just a smidge lower, like 175, 150 is usually like a really great range. So we maximize all those receptors at 200 a week there will be a amount floating around freely throughout the body just waiting to get gobbled up about free testosterone when that free testosterone is just hanging out for a while our body says hey we have all this extra stuff let's convert it over to estrogen to balance out that level now so now we're going to elevate our estrogen levels so typically we like to keep that in a certain range as well and as estrogen starts raising and this is where people start to feel horrible we will get what we call emotional lability. So lability in our emotions might be mood swings where we feel mad and then we feel sad and then we feel angry all within two or three minutes. And that, uh, another thing that can happen from elevated estrogen is uh, sensitive nipples. So sensitive nipples is one of those side effects that can be extremely uncomfortable when you're trying to work out. Nothing sucks worse and you're trying to lift weights or you're on a bike and things are rubbing and you're just like, this is so uncomfortable. So we oftentimes will notice and see the early signs of that um, with the sensitive nipples and with the emotional liability and we'll go, ah, okay, sounds like your estrogen is getting a little high. And sometimes it's luxurious. We can draw a lab and go, oh yeah, your estrogen is very elevated. It's like 40, 50. So oftentimes that will warrant an estrogen blocker or an aromatase inhibitor. Um, and estrogen is a real common one. But again, I firmly believe that less is, can be more. And just because we can doesn't necessarily mean we should. And so optimally what I will try to get people down to is on their testosterone level to where it gets to the point where there isn't a bunch of estrogen being produced from that free testosterone and they don't need an estrogen blocker. And so literally it just consists of doing it, testosterone every week, and then you don't need anything additional. So those are the most common things that I'll hear.